Welcome back everyone, this is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy. You know, last weekend I went to see some friends and uh, they got a milk farm, okay? And they have their own milk and the neighbors give them plenty of eggs. Oh, we are crawling on the milk and eggs. And so you know what? Perfect time to make a vanilla slice. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. This is too complicated. It's like, it occurred to me that actually there's many people out there that don't know that you can make an easy version of the vanilla slice in about 30 minutes. And I'm not talking about a trick. We're gonna be making in this video a French style vanilla slice with the pastry cream made by hand, except that we're gonna use pre-roll puff pastry and only two sheets instead of three. And that dessert is that simple. So if you love vanilla slice, this is it. You're gonna start making it and enjoying it anytime you want. Let's go. So let's demystify the vanilla slice because honestly, it is such a dead simple dessert. What is a vanilla slice? It is basically, at a minimum, two layers of puff pastry with in the middle a layer of pastry cream. That's it, okay? A pastry cream is basically a custard that is thickened with flour. To make a pastry cream, all what you need is milk, eggs, sugar, and some flavoring. Here is gonna be a vanilla bean. And for the thickening, you have the choice. You can use a mix of normal flour and corn flour, only corn flour if you're gluten intolerant, and you can use only flour if you don't have corn flour, so it's really up to you. So the first thing you're gonna do here, because we're gonna have to cook the puff pastry, you're gonna preheat your oven at 200 degrees Celsius, which is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? And make sure you measure all the ingredients, everything's gonna be listed in the video description. Next, all what you have to do is take a medium-sized saucepan, the heat is not on, we're gonna take half a liter of milk, okay? and put everything in. You're gonna add about one or two tablespoons of sugar in there. Next, we're gonna put the vanilla flavoring in. So the big question I get all the time, can I use vanilla essence to make that sort of dessert? Yes, you can, but let me tell you, nothing beats the pure, simple vanilla bean. And that is the key to having a great tasting vanilla slice, okay? So vanilla pot or vanilla bean, whatever you call it, you're gonna flatten it first, the knife. Once it's flattened, all what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your knife because it's nice and flat, you're gonna cut the whole bin in half like that, okay? And then you're gonna split both half. Up, two pieces. Then, look at this, when it's in half, you see this, this kind of shiny little things in there? These are the seeds from the vanilla pot. And all what we want is this, the inside. So we're gonna take the knife, we're gonna flatten here, and we're just gonna go across and extract all of the gold of the vanilla pot. Perfect, so once you've got the seeds extracted, you're gonna put the part of the bin here and these seeds in your pan with the milk. And you repeat the same with the other half. And that's it, you've done your flavored milk. All that needs to happen now is a medium heat and you're gonna bring this barely to a boil. So just before you do, make sure you take a spoon, you mix the sugar that you have in here. And uh, don't use a too high heat uh, because we need some time to prepare the rest of the custard, okay? I'm gonna leave this to warm up. Next for the custard, you're only gonna need egg yolks. So you're gonna take your eggs and you're gonna separate the white from the yolks, right? Now this is one of the drawbacks people think, oh, what I'm gonna do with the white? The egg white, you can keep them covered in an airtight container in the fridge for up to two weeks to make meringues. A very, very old egg white makes the best meringues. So keep this in mind. So for the custard, large bowl, all of the egg yolks, and even if you have a bit of white in there, it does not matter. Break everything. Sugar in, and then you mix. Now this whisking action is called in French blanchir les oeufs, which means to whiten the eggs. And as you can see here, what's happening basically, we're dissolving the sugar with the egg yolks. So you're gonna do this like for one or two minutes maximum, and you're gonna see your mix is gonna become a little bit paler and paler. Okay, I'm all done. Next step, we need to have something that's gonna be thick. Okay, because the pastry cream has to be cooked and it has to be thick to hold uh, in between your layers of pastry. So we're gonna take the flour first, always use a sieve and sift everything over. Once you're done, you're gonna start to mix that in, uh, gently, and don't put flour everywhere if possible. Beautiful, and to add a little bit of elasticity in the mix, we're gonna add some corn flour as well. Same thing, pass through the sieve and incorporate. Hold on, so by the time you do this, most likely your milk is gonna be ready. So you're gonna take the sieve, I remove the excess of flour. You're gonna start by pouring some of the milk, maybe half of it. And then slowly, same thing, you incorporate. 
When everything is mixed in, you're gonna take the rest of the milk, all in, boom. And you mix. And once you're done, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna pour everything back in that same pan using that same sieve, okay? And everything at once. And make sure to grab these little seeds at the bottom, so all at once like that, boom. Beautiful. Take your wigs, make sure there's no seeds and the precious vanilla seeds in there. Put them back in and back on the stove. All right, we're back on the stove. And this is where a lot of people, when we talk custard, get really scared because a normal liquid type of custard and a sweet custard used with dessert, you cannot cook the eggs. So it's that gentle line between, oh, how far can I go with the heat? Pastry cream, you don't have that problem. Heat on medium and we're gonna cook the heck out of this until it boils because we have to actually cook the egg in here. So it's that easy. So all that we're gonna do, medium heat, and you're gonna keep on whisking like this very slowly until it thickens. Okay, so after four and a half minutes, look at this. Everything is nice and thick. So you're gonna want to reduce your heat and wait for the boil to appear. And that is gonna be, let me show you if they appear. It's like a little volcano, a little bubble that pops up at the top here. And there they are. You see the little puff? The little puff here? That's it. So from here, you keep on whisking for one and a half minutes and we're done. And that's it. I've turned my heat off and this is the consistency we have. It is thick because it has to hold, okay? In your pastry, if it's too liquid, it's gonna fall apart. So we want it thick. So now I'm gonna reserve this and let it cool down. So what do I mean by reserve? Basically, you take all of the cream and you're gonna pour it in a cold tray. Now, cling wrap, okay, it has to touch the pastry cream because really pastry cream has got a bad tendency of really crusting. It dries and makes a nasty crust. So you want to have this everything touching everywhere. And that's it, we're gonna cool this down until we are making the puff pastry. It's very important that your pastry cream is really, really cold. So first I'm gonna put it a little bit in the freezer and then straight into the fridge. And now for the puff pastry. So important, you need a square or a rectangle and you can use any size you want. I'm using two large sheets in here that I'm gonna cut after once they cook, but it's up to you. We don't want this to rise at all, which is the great thing about that recipe because you don't have to you know, wonder, oh, is this gonna work, is it not gonna work? So what you're gonna do first, pastry here, you're gonna take a fork and you're gonna make these holes in there to prevent the pastry from puffing. All done, the holes are ready. What you're gonna do next is to take some sugar and do a very fine sprinkle of fine sugar, caster sugar on top. And now for the final step. So this is what you've done. You've got your pastry, really little holes, you get the sugar. And to make absolutely sure it's not gonna rise, we're gonna take this, a cooling rack, and use another baking tray and we're gonna put this on top. I'm gonna put some weight on here, one, and then two. And I'm gonna cook this like that in the oven for 15, 20 minutes until the pastry is nice and golden. That's it, we're done. Hold on, my pastry is cooked, so let's reveal, boom. This is what you should have. So all what we have basically here is these two thin layers of pastry, you know? Not very thick, but just enough for the vanilla slice. Now that the pastry is cooling down, the final touch for the pastry cream, which is now cold, we're gonna put everything in a bowl. And this is the same bowl I've used before. It's nice and gooey, and what we need to do here is to add some flavoring. This is optional but I like to use a little bit of rum. You can use like a Cointreau, so a little bit in here. I like to have lots of rum. It's up to you, but I think rum adds a nice flavor. And then we're just gonna whisk the whole lot. Wow, this aroma of rum is just insane. And you know what? I cannot resist, I need to try that. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Mmm, delicioso. Okay, so now we've got everything we need. Basically, we've got the bottom part here, and we've got another part that we're gonna be placing afterwards just on top like this, or if you want, you can turn it on the other side. It's really up to you. Doesn't really matter. So what you need to do here is simply put as much or as little pastry cream as you want. So if you want something that's gonna be like the master thick vanilla slice, you put plenty of cream. If you want something thinner, it's up to you, but you know what? I kind of like something that is nice and thick, plenty of cream in there. Mm. 
So I mold on. So what you need to try to do is try to get something pretty even, but it does not have to be perfect at all. And look at my side here, there's no cream here, no cream there. And tell you what, there's a little trick to it. So I'm gonna take my top here. I'm just gonna put this on top like that. Okay, I'm gonna slightly apply pressure. Don't too much, you don't want to crack your pastry. And then for the grand finale, we're just gonna trim the edges to have that picture perfect in your slice. And now for the best part. So as you can see, if it hasn't been done perfectly, it's a bit everywhere, there's cream pouring out, etc., etc. So in France, what's being done in a lot of the, the bakery and the pâtisserie, all what you have to do to make this clear, you're gonna trim off with a knife. You can go as deep or as little as you want. And you're gonna cut through to really just keep that bit here. And that makes you that perfect edge. So yes, it can be a bit of a messy business to so try to do this on a silicone mat or something. And as you can see, I've done the two edges here and it starts to look really, really nice. And now it's perfect. There's no gaps and you've got cream absolutely everywhere. So I'm gonna go around and do all the four corners. Finally, when you're done with all the edges, it is up to you to decide how wide the slice should be. Do you want something like this, like this, like this, like that? So here there's enough for about three. So I think I'm gonna cut around something like that. I think this looks pretty right. And there we have it. So once it's cut, this starts to look like a proper vanilla slice. We've got this nice layer of cream on there, a nice thickness. All what's needed here is a sprinkle of sugar. You put your stuff on your cooling rack is best. And then from above, you're gonna basically sprinkle the whole thing with a nice layer of sugar. Okay, no icing. And that's it. Look at this, beauty. And there we have it. So as soon as you put the sugar, you need to eat your vanilla slice. If you want to keep it longer, you can keep it in the fridge without the sugar until you're ready to eat it. The colder, the better. But honestly, how does that look? Such a simple dessert to make. So it's not the fancy version. We only have two layers of puff pastry. And instead of an icing, we just got a sprinkle of sugar. But honestly, you know what? That does the job. So as always, if you have any question, use the comment section. And if you want to make this and show your picture, we're now uh, putting this into our Instagram feed. Everything you make is gonna be on how stories. So do make the vanilla slice and share it on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. And now to finish up the video, and before I go, there's a big announcement that I want to make. There is a brand new course coming out in a few weeks time on our online school. And this is the course you've been asking for and waiting for, which is a course fully dedicated to French sauce making. That's right. We've been working on this for month and month and month, and we really wanted to bring something truly special. And I'm so excited because this is now almost done and we're gonna release the course very soon. Now for the release, we are running a special early bird price, meaning it's a discounted price for a limited period for people that are part of the newsletter that we have. So if you want to get that discount, you're gonna use the link in the video description, you're gonna join the newsletter just giving you an email, and when the time comes, you're gonna receive an email saying, yes, the course is live, you can join, and you're gonna basically get that offer with the discounted price. Now, there would be a video that I'm gonna be making with all the details and the content of the course, what we've made, plus the world first trailer that we've created as well, coming with the course, or what I say is get ready because it's gonna rock the boat, okay? I'll see you all next time for another video on the French Cooking Academy. Take care all, bye-bye.